So here we are, I've got a glass that I'm doing now and again I'm using polychromos and some pastel pencils to do this in, just in white. Um, I'm just being very careful about going round the lines and, and getting that outline to start with. Not too heavy to start with, just to make sure that you've got everything. And I put very basic lines in when I do the transfer because really I want to do all the work by actually doing it, uh, you know, with the pencils. So let me have a wee look. So I'm just going to speed up a little bit so that you're not getting too bored of me and we will, I'll talk you through it. So here we are, I'm just doing a lot of outlining at the moment to, to try and get everything in and make sure that you get all the lines. I really like doing uh, glass, um, especially in black and white and, and doing it like this because you really do, it. it's easy to do and it looks so realistic and it's actually quite a good um, training method to make you really see where light catches things and um, I know when I was uh, you know, do my art, this is something that we used to have to practice and they would get us to take a photograph of a glass and then you had to actually paint it as, as if it was empty, even if it did have something in it. I'm just using that paper stump now just to give it a bit of a blend in. Um, it's a bit harder to do the polychromos with a blend. They don't like blending so much so I've decided to change my paper stump to a bit more hefty one and have another go at blending it in here. Of course the pastel pencils blend much easier. So you've got um, fours and against using the polychromos or pastel pencil and I've used a combination of the two. I'm just doing a lot more of the same, just lots more of the um, outlines and Anywhere that it's a bright highlight, I'm really pressing quite hard. And just be aware that you can go over this all, you know, you once you get everything in, you, you'll have a look at it and think, oh, it really needs to be brighter there or more blended. Decided that it needed to be much brighter. And uh, you can see that I'm getting a much easier blend with that pastel pencil. I did mention in one of my other um, one of these backlit white black uh, black and white drawings that the only um, thing about the pastels and the polychromos mixing is that there's a little bit of wax resist and you do feel it a wee bit when you're doing it so just be aware of that um, if you're wondering why you're getting that it's just because one's wax and one's chalk and you do feel it slightly but not enough for it to really bother you too much even with those few strokes that I've done already, you can see it's starting to come and um, a, a glass is developing. Just look at your reference photo quite often and, and just make sure that you're getting those highlights in where you, you need them to be. And um, that is all you really need to pay attention to because the glass will develop. I'm obviously just having a look and I can just see odd highlights that I need to brighten up just a wee bit. I'm just going to go back in and just tidy up any lines. Um, I felt that this was a bit of a cheat but then again I thought well not really and it's it's a really great trick you know to just crispen a few edges up and it really does help it makes it pop so that's quite a good tip for you is to just go in with the black um, pastel pencil or the black polychromo. It is slightly more tricky uh, doing a, an object that doesn't that hasn't got fur because you've got to get real crisp straight lines whereas an animal you can get away with quite a bit because you can just fluff it up a little bit. So um, definitely I found that the that was just slightly more difficult. So there we are, we've got a glass completed. I'm just going to put a wee signature in there. I do hope you'll join me again soon. It's been lovely painting with you this